part three of Hot Tips Skydiving Pre-Interview. So, I have yeah. a question. Go ahead, go ahead. How are you feeling internally right now about to jump out of a plane? I just worried about the crowd. I was worried more about there was going to be more people because they were only allowed 20 people because it's a small airport. Yeah. So I was like, I don't want to have a thousand people there when I come down off the ground. <laughs> Skydiving, is that's the fun part. I, I'm looking forward to it. A lot of people are like, skydiving? I would never jump out of a perfectly good airplane. Yeah. I had a Navy buddy turn around and goes, you know, you got to pay. If you don't jump, you still pay to turn around and, and skydive. And I says, you're chicken out, you still have to pay. He goes, it's not chicken and out. It's coming to your senses. Jumping out of a perfectly good airplane. <laughs> I think it'll be fun. But you're not nervous at all? No nerves? No. No, oh. no, no. I will tell you, the plane is tiny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I saw that. I, I got to go up and feel the, the plane, and I, I didn't break it. I, that's my story. I'm sticking to it. <laughs> And I can't pay for the, the thing, so I put it on independent living to, to pay for the airplane mm -hmm. just in case I break it. We've got it. Yeah. Okay, you got, got you this? covered. Yes. Awesome, yeah. Yeah. So if I damage it anyway, coming out the door and everything, <laughs> you know, you you guys it's got me to pay for the gift. plane. Awesome. Yeah. Okay, yeah. You can you it will it'll be a nice planter outside your office. I agree, absolutely. You know, because it, it's it's small enough it'll fit in the front part of your your, yeah. your lawn. It's <laughs> nice decor. Absolutely. But no, I'm looking forward to it. Good. Yeah. Um, so, Robert, as a person with a sighted disability, um, when you tell people you're jumping out of an airplane, do you ever get any funny, strange reactions? Uh, pretty much. They're like, uh, I was coming back from Beaumont, Texas for our World Series, and uh, I was telling the two flight attendants that I'm, I'm skydiving, you're an adrenaline jockey. I said, pretty much. I resemble that remark. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but no, they, they just said, most of them were like, they would never jump out of a plane. They were like, you sure you guys healthy? If anything happens, um, weren't you gonna go bungee jumping before you jump out of a plane? I'm like, no, I'm good. So that's the reaction I got. Just a lot of people would never do it. So it's, it's fun and it's gonna be, you know, something to get uh, more attention to my sport is what I wanna do. Awesome. Yeah. I have one last question. So once you're done skydiving, what's going to be your next item on your bucket list? I got three actually. I want to jump in. Next is I want to go to Maine. There is a person there in Maine that helps the blind drive around a racetrack. Mm -hmm. It's a race car because my doctor said I was never play sports and never drive. So driving is the next thing. Yeah. Um, that is definitely one of the other things. And the other one is uh, pet a shark. I okay, definitely well. want to go and pet a shark. <laughs> I love sharks. When I was a kid, I was always at the the aquarium, yeah. and I we got there, and my my thing is I wanted to go to the gift shop and buy a shark jaw. That was my goal. Mm -hmm. We get there. I go. I met Willie Whistle. I know I'm aging myself. I met Willie Whistle, and we go into the the aquarium, and they have. Over there, they, they, they got talking about penguins. Not really interested in penguins. Penguins are boring. They're a bird. They swim. They got tuxedos on it. It's okay. <laughs> so I turned and I went over and left the group. Now, being a kid, you're not supposed to do that. But I left the group and there was a stairwell, a stair, a doorway and a stairwell. I went up the stairs. This guy's in the tank. He's in a scuba dive outfit and he's hand feeding the sharks. That was fantastic. So I'm there. All of a sudden, there was a code red. There was a kid missing. Hopefully, they find him. But apparently, it was me. I knew where I was. I was watching the guy hand feed the sharks. And when he was hand feeding the, the sharks, they come up and got me. And they were like, hey, what are you doing? Get on the bus. So OK. So I got on the bus. I was by myself. I got to eat my lunch by myself. And then I talked to the teacher. I says, you know, I wanted to go to the gift shop to see if they had a shark joke. Oh, let me take you. Okay. So I got off the, I had my lunch by myself, didn't have to share. Got off the bus, went down to the gift shop. I said, I'm looking for a shark joke. Oh, yeah, we got one. Oh, let's see. And they got me a shark joke. I still have it in my fish aquarium tank. Wow. Still today. So, and I have a great white shark's tooth and I get a shark joke. <laughs> Jeez, well, that's crazy. I think they are going to get you equipped up now. There you go. Yep. But Time thank you for letting come. us ask you questions. It seems like you like all things dangerous. So, no. sharks, skydiving, <laughs> race cars. Yeah. Good luck. Find baseball, roller skated. Follow to see the best part of the skydive.